There was a smart home announcement today that has the potential to change how you use your smart home cameras. Whenever I have a video that talks about a smart home device that uses the Matter protocol and how it makes things easier to connect to any smart home ecosystem, whether it's Amazon's or Google's or Apple's or Samsung's or whatever, one of the most common questions I get is, what about cameras? Because cameras are historically one of the most unoperative between different ecosystems. They usually are locked in to the manufacturer's own ecosystem, whether that's Ring or Google or, or whatever. Well, Matter, the whole goal of it is to make things easier to use across different ecosystems and to use them locally so that responsiveness is faster and they load faster and they work if the outside internet is down. But one thing Matter has lacked up until today, literally today, is a specification on how to integrate cameras. And so but today they released Matter 1.5, which has the specification and lays the groundwork for how to integrate cameras via Matter. And they've really fleshed it out for the first version of this spec. And it supports cameras, doorbells, pan tilt zoom cameras. It reports locally over WebRTC for streaming. It enables storing recordings either locally or to the cloud. So it doesn't quite remove that part of a, a vendor wanted to force it to the cloud, but at least the streaming is locally. So it's a really strong first effort at getting a specification out that will could be adopted across many different camera manufacturers and work with many different smart home brands there. Now, the caveat to this is now the specification is out, it's up to the manufacturers to actually adopt it. So it'll be interesting to see what companies actually choose to adopt it. I've heard a car I might be working on it with and even supporting it with current devices. I've heard of some other manufacturers that might be adopting it. Ring has basically said no comment at this point, which isn't surprising because Amazon, they don't even support some of the sensors and buttons and things like that that Matter already supports. But keep an eye out because if there's manufacturers that do buy on to this and enable these local controls for your cameras and adopting them to other ecosystems, I think that'll be a big win for not only the consumer, but for the manufacturers that you need to look out for and buy their products that have that Matter logo on them for cameras. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully we'll see this coming out and uh, some announcements at CES come January.